Hey beauties. What the what? Who's this girl? Who is this? Who this? Who is it? It's um way out of my wheelhouse. This is a lot burnt nope, this is Bernstein rooted. Um and it is Ellen Villa's turn. And I bought it on Flip Your Wig from a wig sister. And when I first, you know, it wasn't, it's not red. And it, I know it's showing a little bit red in the camera, but that's, that's a cell phone camera for you. But it was, what I tried it on the, when I first got it. Uh, and I w was in my half bath. And for some reason, this wig looked gray it looked the blonde in it it's a kind of an ashy wig anyway this is the this is a window that has daylight let me see if i can open that up and get a little bit more light and see open it wide okay so this is the this is more true to color right here and this part looked gray to me i mean when i put it on i thought oh my god this wig is gray and I thought, uh-uh, I gotta put it back on Flip Your Wig because I, I can't wear this. And then my husband came in and I was in this room and my husband came in and he said, didn't you get a wig? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, what is it? And I showed it to him and he goes, well, that's not bad. That's different than what you usually wear, but I think you, I think you like, I think you can, what do you say? I think you can pull that off or something. Anyway, he said something like, you know, I could, I, I could do this. So, I looked at it in different lights. I took it outside, looked at it in different lights, and then I decided, well, I'm going to try it. I have worn this wig every day since I got it, I think, and I got it last week. Um, because it's there, I, I do the water, spray it with water at night, and hang it upside down. And then in the morning, today, I mean, you know, we're not going anywhere. When I went some, I went somewhere one time, went to the doctor, the dentist, and um, I wore a different wig. But because they know me as a redhead, I think they would have been shocked. Although they know I wear wigs, so it wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered anyway. But um, I just didn't, I, I just didn't wear this out. I don't know if I'm going to wear it out because it's out of my wheelhouse a bit. It's out of my wheelhouse, but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Um... When I got it, um, I washed it, conditioned it, and hung it upside down, scrunched it and scrunched it and scrunched it and hung it upside down. And it, I got some more curl than came than it came with. You know, sometimes it was a new wig, but, you know, when you get wigs, sometimes they're not, they're, you know, they're not um, styled correctly or they don't look all that good or what the what the stock photo looks like. Sometimes that's a good thing. But I also, th this right here, this part is very short. It's very short. I'm, I'm pretty sure it comes that way. I don't think, I don't think my, the wig sister cut it, but it's, it's, uh, I think it comes that way because I went and looked at a picture and it's very short. You can wear, you could pull this down and wear bangs, but I haven't worn bangs in a long time and it really bothered me. I tried to pull it down and wear bangs just to be different, but I, um, I didn't like it. So what I did was I just, you know, did my fingers and pushed it back. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it. I'm trying not to uh, constantly, I noticed most of my videos, I'm constantly messing with my hair and I should just not do that. So what I did was I took some Aesthetica Style and Hold and I I just brushed it back, not brushed it with, with my fingers, I raked it back, and then I sprayed some of that on there, and it holds those little hairs, the, small, the shorter, bangy part back, and it also gives you some lift, so I really, um, I like it better that way. Let me show you the back, let me turn around, I hope that you can see it, it's very, um, I think it's nice, I think it looks great from the back. Um, Anyway, so there's the back, and um, I I like this. I would like to now get this in a red. I, I think that would be fun to get it in a red. I mean, I know Ellen Villa has that, um, uh, what is it, San, San, Saffron Rooted, that I have two wigs in that color, and I do love that color. That's more 
my me that's more my color but I really do like this this is a very nice wig it's good because I've been wearing a lot of longer wigs today it's warm here in Texas it's gonna get cold again but it's 75 degrees here in Texas and um, I don't know it's just it, it's, it goes from freezing to 75 degrees to whatever anyway so today I decided I would um, lately it's been in the 70s and that's probably why I have been picking this because it's shorter and it doesn't uh, get on your neck and it doesn't touch your collar and um, my I've been wearing longer wigs when it was cold and my husband's gotten used to it you know my little immersion therapy with him and he likes it but he also he really likes me in this kind of length or here that's what he really does and um, I got miles of style um, from Leanne at the Beauty Nook and I did cut a little bit I cut about two inches off of her and she looks so much better to me and she fits me so much better she's long she's still long she's down to here uh, but it just it just looks better on me um, I just can't have all I, I, I wasn't comfortable dragging all that hair around you know trying to wear it around the house and do things or whatever it was just too much hair for me I'm just not you know getting into my armpits and all, I mean I, it just it's just too much for me and um, I know that more mature women can wear longer hair and I have no qualms about that I do that but there is a point at which it's too long for anybody that it's too long for it doesn't have to have anything to do with age it just ha can have to do with they just don't particularly like themselves in the hair that long when I was very uh, when I was a teenager and first well, I guess when I had I didn't cut my hair till my second child was born but it was like down to my rear end and you know I, I'm used to I was used to having all that hair but as when I first cut it I cut it into a bob and I'm just not um, I've had that kind of hair and here just to hear when I married David I had about here that's it that's it for me so uh, she's a little bit longer than that but I still like her I haven't rolled her yet or curled her um, when I do I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what I've done to her so anyway that's miles of styles by rocket miles of style by Raquel Welch and this we're talking about Ellen Villa turn and I do love this wig really I, lo I like it I don't love this wig but I like it a lot and I would love it I think if um, it were red although you know it's good to shake it up every once in a while and that's what I thought when I bought it I thought you know you wear red all the time all your wigs are red try a different color so because my wonderful wig sister had this on such a good price I I got it in a different color so then is normal for me but I think it's kind of ashy I think do y'all think it's ashy I don't know anybody who has Bernstein um, do you think it's ashy I don't know I don't know if um, this is the perfect color for me I don't think so but it's not bad and I and I can oh I can pull it off he said I could pull it off you could what did he say something about um he didn't say pull it off but he said something else and I can't think of it because you know brain's gone COVID-19 quarantine fuzz up here you just every day is Groundhog Day how's everybody doing with that how are you doing with your quarantine are you playing with your wigs are you curling your wigs are you wearing a wig are you wearing your wig every day are you just not wearing a wig every day I normally put on a wig every day uh, I have no hair I've shaved my head as everybody knows I have well I have hair it's grown out but it's like you know an inch long and it's all gross and and it's gray oh no way so um, I keep shaving it and um, I keep thinking I might let it grow out so that it sticks out under my hats but it's gray and I'm not gonna do that and I don't want to start coloring my hair again so 
I'm, I'm bald under here. So I always either have a knitted cap that I knit for, and I wear them with my pajamas. And I sleep in them because my head gets cold. Honestly, my head gets cold. Um, so I always wear a wig every day. And so this is one that I wear. I have several, what I call my house brows. I have house wigs that I wear. And then, um, you know, then the ones I go out in or whatever. I just, whatever. I just like, um, you know, to keep those wigs nice. But we have had so long of this quarantine that, I think they're going to get dry rot if if I don't start wearing them around the house. So I kind of have started changing and wearing them because after I get through wearing them, I always turn them upside down and spray them if they're curly. And most of my wigs are, and I spray them with water and then I hang them upside down. So that uh, that helps them, I think, to stay nice. And if I see one that looks a little uh, sad, maybe. <laughs> or dry maybe I will take it down and I will um, spray it and hang it upside down you know I have all of my wigs hanging unwig heads or stands or whatever in my closet uh, I have a walk-in closet and I have them in there and I have uh, shelves uh, little cubbies cubbies that go up and shelves that go across and then David got me a another bookcase type thing that he me we measured to make sure they would fit the wigs and they fit wig uh, mannequins short short wig mannequins and so i have them all in there so all of my wigs except for my backups which if i really like a wig i'll buy a backup and they're in their boxes so they're going to have box head when they come out so whatever you know when you have a whole bunch of wigs you can't wear them every day and i just i just I have a whole bunch. I'm kind of saturated to the point of this kind of style, this um, beachy wave kind of style. I have so many of these that I, I don't know how else you can, what else they can do to change the style. But so I, that's why I started, and I started buying longer wigs because I had all, all of this style. Um, I'm not saying I'll never buy this style again, but um i'm i'm pretty saturated with it and you know i like the 80s permed curly 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 wigs and i have like oh gosh three three of those i think three or four of those and then i have um the sh curly girl that i have and they're they're not name brand wigs at all they're not um you know a name brand they're just i bought them the really curly ones off ebay and i bought another one off this gal and katie that has some i forget uh the company but anyway i bought those i have like backups of that shorter one i've got like seven of them because i like that so much but i probably I mean, I don't change them out that often because I don't wear them. They're human hair blend, and I don't wear them every day. So now that I have thousands of other wigs, not thousands, but a lot of other wigs that, um, and I'm not going anywhere. So how are y'all doing with this quarantine? Obviously, I have diarrhea of the mouth today, so I'm probably I, doing okay, not doing okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's not easy. It's not, I think it's hard on everybody's mental health. I really do. Um, and I think you have to do things to counter that. So this is one of the things I'm doing. Um, okay, girls. So this is Ellen Villa's turn in Bernstein Rooted. So let me know in the comments what you think about this color on me because it is out of my wheelhouse. All right, till next time, girls. Bye.